And welcome back. There it is. <laughs> robotic, so cool. Yeah, robotic vacuum cleaners, they've been around for a while. So why did it take so long to get automatic lawnmower? That's what we want to know. Yes. Today we are here with Eric. He is the owner of Robin Autopilot, Wisconsin's first robotic lawn service provider, <laughs> to answer some of these burning questions. First of all, it's just cute. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And the fact that we've had robotic things around the house that do floor cleaning and vacuuming. It's about time for this. Yeah, they've actually been around for a while. The technology just has not caught on here in the States. Uh, so we're, we're very excited to be bringing this to Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. So tell us what you guys are, because you're, you're called Robin Autopilot. Yes. Yep. What exactly do you do? Um, we are a robotic lawn service. We're a lawn service contractor. We'll maintain your lawn for you. Uh, we just use a robot to do the bulk of the work. And then we send out crews to do edging, trimming, and other maintenance that's needed. Yeah, because my first question was, what about the weeds? <laughs> um, so you just mentioned edging and, and other things. So while this does the majority of the work, you take care of other things too, depending on what type of package or what, what someone yep. in lawn care needs are? There's all different packages. The entry-level package is just the robot. You know, mm -hmm. if you just want a robotic mower. Uh, the second tier is string trimming and edging. We'll send a crew out periodically to do that. And the third tier is custom. Yeah, do you want... Uh, weed treatment, you want your gutters clean, you name it. I mean, mm -hmm. we'll really do anything in the exterior of the home. That's cool. What do you think is the benefit to a, a robot versus traditional mowing? Um, first and foremost, it's a better and more reliable cut. It's out there cutting every single day. So rather than a traditional lawn care service where you might go 10 days between a cut, um, it's literally out there every day cutting, which means your lawn looks perfect every day. Oh, Whoa. The time. what if yeah. it's raining? Uh, you can set it to work in the rain or not work in the rain. Mm -hmm. uh, we default to not letting it work in the rain. It can. We just choose to shut it down when it's Okay, raining. here's yeah. what I want to know is people who have this, especially guys, I'm thinking they want everybody in their neighborhood to know <laughs> that they have a robot doing their yard. Because yeah. I would think they'd probably sit outside with their green beer and watch it happen. Yeah, with, yep. Right? Yep. It's entertainment. Absolutely. You'll, you'd be amazed if you have them in your yard. Cars will literally stop and look, because people just haven't seen the technology. They're not aware that it exists. So when you see it roaming around in someone's yard. They're like, is it an invisible like, what, what person? What thing, yeah. But I would think, like, how many neighbors get it stolen? Do people get it stolen? No, you know, can it happen? Absolutely. Yeah. They're geofenced and geotracked. So if someone yeah. drives off with it, uh, I can drive right to their doorstep and get the motor back. I yeah. love that. So you're like, knock, knock. <laughs> yep. yeah. Hey, you got my robot. <laughs> uh, you need to give it back. <laughs> All right, um, so if you have a fence, no problem. No problem. Right? So we've got a door. Um, we just had the patent for this. Whoa, <laughs> oh, it just, just came out. Guy. Yeah, we just, oh. uh, just got the patent for that back. Um, What's the difference between these two? I just different size yards, you know, smaller oh. yard, different style cuts. Um, like what size yard are we talking? You know, it'll handle anything from two tenths of an acre to a single robot can handle a full acre. Um, oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's a lot of grass for a little robot. Yeah, yeah that's it is. amazing. You're hungry. Now, you guys are going to be at the um, home and garden show. Will you demonstrate and talk people through not only how it works, what's yep. it's capable, what it's capable of, but the different kinds of packages? Because you mentioned things like yeah. even cleaning out gutters and weeds and mm -hmm. yeah. edging. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be at the Home and Garden Show. We'll have a booth there, so we'll have the robots in operation. Uh, we can talk through pricing programs, packages, uh, answer any questions that people have on the robot, and we'll actually do custom quotes too. So right through right through robinautopilot.com, someone can put in their address and get a quote uh, specific to your property as no well. No way. Yep. I want to know about dog poop, because there's a lot of people who've got animals <laughs> or neighbors' animals that come over to their yard. Sure. Well, it, what's it going to do? Is it, it going to wreck it? Is it, it actually stink? picks it up for you too. No way. Oh, like, does it bag it? Puts it in a little baggie. That was funny. It's like, it picks it up. No, you know what? It, it just kind of mows over the top. You still have to clean your yard, but it's really yeah. not an issue for the mower. The mower's at a height where it doesn't really cause any problems. Okay. I think people are probably wondering, is this something that's, that you deliver to someone's home, or does, it, does the robot sort of live at your home outside? So how does that work? So, and do you have to have a, a house, little house, <laughs> or a shed for it? You don't have to have a house. You can have one if you want um, but no each home has its own mower you know okay. in theory if a single customer next to each other wants to have you know a mower they could share a mower oh, you could share it with your for them. neighbor yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nicole uh, but the mower stays in the property you know we obviously sends crews out to do string trimming and edging but the mower lives there and maintains the lawn for the customer okay. that is super cool I nice. love it what about pets is it safe 
for wildlife and other and kids other pets too. that you have. Pets yeah. and I don't kids, care about the kids. Yeah. I really want to know about the squirrels and the cats and the dogs. <laughs> yes, yes. We, there is a video out there of a cat riding one. Uh, is there really? Yeah, That's yeah. cute. Uh, but no, perfectly safe. There's a couple different safety measures. There's bump sensors, lift sensors. Um, and guards underneath just to make sure that no one can get get at the blades when they're working. Now, are okay. you able to operate the big one right now also? Yeah, we or can drive this one off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this okay. one's going to go to sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do people name them? Have you named them? Like Lori, Everyone the lawnmower? Everyone names them. Absolutely. <laughs> What's the most popular name? I feel uh, like a lot of people like, you know. We've seen all sorts of funny things. Mobot, Tony Romo. <laughs> Yeah, you name it. That's uh, good. Wait, what was the other one you said? Tony, Tony Romo, <laughs> Mobot. Yeah. Mobot. Uh, I like yeah, that. Just about everyone names them. They truly become part of the family. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting. Yep. That is That's so cool. really neat. Yeah. And you can decide how how short you you yes. want your grass because okay. I feel like once we get to August, everything's just so dry. Yes. Yeah, we can adjust uh, mowing frequency, time of day that it mows. So if you don't want to see it, we can have it mow at night. It's obviously very quiet. Yeah. Uh, we can adjust the height, so if you want a short grass or a tall grass, there's really, it's it's pretty customizable as far as what each homeowner wants as far as mowing schedule and grass height. Okay. What does it do with the grass clippings? Does it just kind of come out the back? Uh, yes. Yeah. So it's not like a traditional lawnmower that would shoot it out the side, oh, uh, because it's out there cutting. Your home? Yeah, because it's out it's there. Too good for your home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, that's where it recharges. <laughs> that's where it charges, yep, that's its home. Uh, but no, it just rams around because it's cutting every day, it just cuts very small pieces of grass and they just fall back into the ground, um, kind of become fertilizer for your grass. And it doesn't use gas, which I like. That's yep. super cool. Super cool. Maureen yeah. is there, Realtors Home and Garden Show. That's where you're going to find out more about Robin Autopilot. Um, there, it's going on March 22nd through the 31st at State Fair Park. The first 25 callers to sign up and schedule an install or customers, sorry, not callers, to sign up and schedule an install at the Home and Garden Show will receive a free installation. So go there, see them, talk to them, get a little bit more about Robin Autopilot Milwaukee. Here's how you do that. Give them a call at 414-533-3130 or robinautopilot.com. They also have prices and different services listed on their website as well, so you can find out more, but really inexpensive and so cool. I yeah. love it. Thanks, Thank Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. That was yeah. fun. I yeah. appreciate it.